Hello everyone, welcome back to Rodimus2099. I'm Rodimus2099. If you don't know what my channel is, I do reviews, rants, stop motions. If this is your first video, well, you're in for a deep one. Let's start off with a little origin story. If you don't know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the X-Men, and I'm glad that we're getting a lot of X-Men related figures. For a while, we had close to none. I mean, I remember even when the Juggernaut wave come, came out, and that was huge, that was huge. Because that was like the first solid wave of only X-Men characters, and all really good ones. I mean, honestly, really good ones. Um, I remember even before that, we had the Onslaught wave. Which, if you don't know, Onslaught is an X-Men character, but they made him into the kind of weird, and I mean really weird, like... Red Skull version, I still don't understand that much, but that's alright. Um, and I remember when that, that came out, and I was watching Glenn Webb, and he was, like, so happy. Because otherwise, there wasn't too much X-Men stuff, because Fox owned the franchise, Hasbro was working with Disney, so they were like, you know what, we don't really want to support their company, the rival company too much, we won't make too much stuff, and then when Marvel got... Spider-Man, they were like, let's make a bunch of Spider-Man characters. <laughs> and then Spider-Man just kind of went off. <laughs> and now we have X-Men stuff. And we're getting even more X-Men stuff than we usually do. Um, if you don't know, my first actual figure in my Marvel Legends collection was... X-Men Apocalypse... Uh, X-Men Age of Apocalypse, uh, Tiger Stripe Wolverine Wave, and the Back in Black Deadpool, because that was actually one of my favorite comics uh, from recent years, where... Deadpool gets the Venom symbiote and goes into the cosmos and has fun. Um, so, that's awesome. And that is one of the first figures that got me into um, make into just doing stuff with figures. And it actually starts even before that with my history of X-Men. As a kid, I was allowed three hours of whatever I wanted TV well, I still had to be kid appropriate, because of course, um, <laughs> um, if I read 20 minutes of a book every day, uh, not 20 minutes, 20 pages of a book every day, um, and they, uh, immediately found out that what I was trying to do, I said, I want to get, I want to read this book about poetry, and they were like, oh, that's so nice, and it was like, show of Sir Silverstein model, um, Shell Silverstein comic books, uh, not comic books, poetry, and he does really short poems, if you don't know. They're pretty short. Um, so, so I did that. Um, but I made a deal. My dad said I could get a graphic novel, not a comic book. I couldn't get something that was the stuff by, that I buy today. I bought Madison for the Age of Apocalypse X. I, I didn't ask him for Age of Apocalypse. I asked him for an X-Men comic book. And he talked to the comic book store owner. And he went... One of my favorite stories, because he obviously thought he was selling to my dad, um, is the Age of Apocalypse story. And my dad goes, ooh, that sounds not childlike. And he goes, no, nah, it's totally okay. And my dad perused it, of course, because back then he'd check if um, there was nudity or swearing or violent death in uh, comic books. Because I suddenly slipped, um, what was it? I think it was a New Mutants one. Um, and that was a pretty violent, so he was not too happy with that. But, anyway. So, he got me the X-Men Age of Apocalypse storyline, which I am enthralled with. I was born with it. It's like a, it's so close to home. It's unbelievable how close to home it is for me. Um, so, I, I loved the alternate versions, which kind of are the regular versions to me. Even though I knew I was, because... Uh, I started out watching the X-Men 90s cartoon. I don't remember it so much as I should. It's kind of hazy right now. Um, but I watched it and loved it. And then when I read the comic book, I was always so confused. And I actually got into the comic book more than I thought I would. I was like, I'll just use this to make my X-Men knowledge a little beefier. Um, and I got so into this comic book. And it was so cool because... I saw the different versions of Jean Grey. I started to like Jean Grey more as a character because I hated her in the cartoon. Um, I still do hate Jean Grey. <laughs> um, I saw the different version of Wolverine, Weapon X, and then I saw X-Man, 
who was my favorite mutant so far. My favorite villain, Mr. Sinister, was in that novel. Um, was Sunfire? Yeah, Sunfire was in it, but he wasn't my favorite, totally. Um, Link, all, all these characters who have just become my favorites so far. Um, so you can obviously imagine how happy I was when uh, they announced that this wave was being, uh, that another X-Men Age of Apocalypse wave was being made more closely to the comic book. I was so happy. And then I saw the photos. Weapon X, looking amazing. And, uh, that one is one of my favorite line, stories, kind of, of Wolverine. He doesn't have his, uh, what was it, right hand? Right or left hand? I can't remember because, of course, it's, it's a comic book. It's not like, oh, this is right, this is left. I got it. Um, but one of his hands was gone, so he had kind of a metal cup over it that had his claws on it sometimes and didn't. Um, and I thought that was freaking cool. Um, and then Jean Grey was awesome in that line. I feel she was more powered, but grounded. Like, she, she wasn't, like, Phoenix Horse powerful. She was, like, telekinetic powerful. Which I like. I like that. Pretty cool. And then, as it is, I <laughs> loved the, um, the storyline of Dark Beast. Dark Beast was pretty cool in being sort of a more beast version of Beast, which I loved Beast because he wasn't a beast. He looked like one, but he wasn't. Um, that was one of my favorite lines about him. And then they had Frasier frickin' play Beast. I'm happy that we're getting a Funko Pop of technically Frasier. Um, <laughs> um, and if you don't know, I've even been to Castle Loma, where they filmed the X-Men movies, parts of it, because I love the X-Men so much. Anyway, so when they said, when they released the images of Weapon X, Sunfire, Jean Grey, Dark Beast, Morph, I like Morph as a character. I don't really, I don't remember him in X-Men Age of Apocalypse. I don't think he was that effective for it, um, but I like him regardless. Um, and then, of course... They announced who the, who the Baff was. Sugar Man. If you don't know me, I hate only a select few Marvel characters. I hate Riri, Ironheart. I hate frickin' Sugar Man, too. And then there's a couple more characters that I hate, but they're not, like, finally hate like them. I hate Sugar Man. I never thought he was a cool character. I never thought he was a cool design, a cool villain. Honestly, I just hate him. Um, and then re restart re re I hate her so much. She is such such an annoying character. Oh. And she just is like trying to be as big as Iron Man, but never could be. I hate her. And there's a good video by um Comic Drake, I think it was, on like why people love Miles Morales and why people hate Re Re. Um as Ironheart. And honestly that's a good video to check out. Um I will try to leave a link to it below. If you're into that comic book stuff, watch it. I know you have time. Um, and so, now I find myself buying a wave that I don't want to buy. But I still do because of the characters themselves. So I'm going to build a bath. This isn't the worst problem. I could be starving and having no Marvel Legends at all. But it's like, this is the thing. I want another Apocalypse figure. With the way that they're doing Sugar Man, he is so beefy and big, that if they did that for Apocalypse, if they even made him a little bit kind of thinner in sort of a way, because he always kind of looked a little weirdish. He wasn't as bulky as that one was the last wave. He was a little thinner. And then they could include tons of weapons. Because, honestly, they're pouring a lot of work into Sugar Man, even though you could say, oh, well, he's kind of smaller than Apocalypse, but he does have four arms. So, and he does have a weapon that comes with Beast. And they could have done so many ways to make this into an Apocalypse figure. Uh, they could have even done that one where he was sort of like, I don't want to say Ultimate Apocalypse, but he had, like, a cape, and he had a skull in his hand, um, and he had... Different design costume. They could do that, but they aren't. So, what's kind of bad is build the figures that I want to build. Abomination, Red Guardian. Um, have figures that I don't want. I don't need. So I can just buy those build the figures loose. And the figures loose. Um, and I will most likely do that for 
the Abomination Wave. I'm probably going to wait on the Black Widow Wave because I assume that they're going to release more of it later. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not like they're just going to release it now because, of course, think about the kids who will see the movie and then want a Black Widow figure. Yeah. Um, so, I am waiting on that one. But, honestly, X-Men Age of Apocalypse, this wave seems really big and a lot of people are getting it so fast. So I think I'm going to finish this wave. I don't know. I might sell the bath. I might just learn to love it. But I also might hate it so much. And I might do a totally terrible job at reviewing him. And just hating him. But that's honestly probably true. I hate him. He's the worst figure ever. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to. Please do the, me the honor of subscribing to my channel. There's a little button in the middle. So do that. Over to the side. There is a playlist of all of my Marvel stop motions. Check them out. Uh, I have some really good X-Men ones in there. I have some really bad X-Men ones in there. I do. On the top is a video that if you want to be a voice actor, go check out Taskmaster Review in the description. There's lines. Read the lines. Record them. Send them to me through a link in any video. I will find it. I'll get to it. And you'll probably be confirmed that is my casting call. I'm not going to put it in this description because... It only shows me how much work you will do in case I need you again, which might happen. Um, and then down there is my X-Men shelf. Go check it out. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I am thinking of moving some characters so that it's just X-Men and Sentinels. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, catch you in the next video. Goodbye.